It's day four here at Eurovision and it's a very special day because it's the final day of first rehearsals. As a special treat, we will be following along with Brooke, the Irish representative. I think most of us have fantasized about being a Eurovision artist, being in your bedroom and dancing around and listening to a song and singing along. Today we're going to give you a closest experience possible. So we're going to follow around Brooke and show you every single checkpoint you go through from dressing room all the way to stage. I remember watching the TV, we were sitting in, I think it was Port Rush and we went away for like a weekend away, it was a holiday and I was watching the TV and just thinking, how do people get on the screen, like how do you end up representing your country? And now Ireland are here, we have arrived, I am the representative, I know, this is, this is mental, I swear it's so crazy, the whole, we driving through seeing the banners, I don't know how to expect, like what to expect or what to, I have no preconceptions. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to go blank on the stage and then forget my words, no. <laughs> Here at Eurovision we work with a colour-coded system. Artists and their performer have their own set colour so the tech team knows who is who and what is what. So, before they perform they have their sound check and in a monitor rehearsal. That's rich. Well, it's coming from you and that's rich. Well, I got nothing to make sure that all the artists and performers can hear themselves clearly on stage. With that said and done, mic packs go into the costume and it's time to go to the stage. It's really exciting to see those final moments before you go to the backstage hold, is where they get their final briefing before they enter that Eurovision stage. Something they worked really, really hard for and is for many people a dream come true. That's rich. Every artist has 30 minutes for their first rehearsal on stage and 20 for the second rehearsal and their delegation watches closely to check if there needs to be any changes as well as the entire crew that meticulously follows along. So it was like, it was all great. I loved every second and then I could hear myself until that after the breakdown then the No, I don't want to meet your mother. Bye bye, don't go to the All that is fuzzy. I need to know, is this something that I need? That was epic. It's time to remove all of that tech and go to the viewing room where they can watch the performance. I'm really pleased. I have to give myself some credit. Like that was a really big stage. Like that was that was a really big moment for me. Oh, she's emotional. Um no, we're gonna go look back at it and then I'll be able to see where everything is and focus on that. So where am I going? In here. <laughs> Performers do three takes during their 30 minutes and then they can view them here in the viewing room. Super secret stuff. They check everything shot by shot and communicate to the crew what needs to be changed. And the result of that we see here on YouTube during the second rehearsal footage. Hi, my name is Francesca. I'm a volunteer and my Italian word today is conferenza stampa, which means press conference. Next to me is Mario Acamba, who's one yes. of the press conference yes. hosts. <laughs> what was your reaction when Rai called you? I mean, I was so excited because I've been like for five years the, 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 I mean, the official Italian commentator for Junior Eurovision Song Contest. So I was like, yeah, finally Eurovision in Italy, I can be there. So it's, it's amazing. It was amazing. And now it's even better. So you took my job, technically. Yes. How do you feel? I feel, I feel great. No, it's really good. <laughs> I really don't mind, honestly. <laughs> What's the most unexpected thing about hosting the press conferences? It's happening like everything, because during the meet and greet, um, it's kind of different comparing to the press conferences, because we can talk a little bit more, we can we can have fun, so sometimes the artists are like, you know, so fun and so crazy, and, uh, and, and it's everything is unexpected. I mean, It's huge here. It's very huge. 
As you can see there, I mean, there's nobody during the meet and greet because they are connected online. And so uh, it's just, you know, the, me and the artist or the artist so we can talk and have fun a little bit more. And get to know them as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so when kind of a talk show. So when the press is here. Yeah. Will it feel really different? Because then you're kind of, it's like you're giving a journalism concert because there's so many people watching you. You know, waiter, something like, what do you want, some water? You are, <laughs> no, I mean, they will give us the, the questions. So they will tell, well, they will ask the questions to the art, artists. So it's going to be I'm a little bit easier for us, but it's going to be interesting because the, we will know something that we don't. So it's cool. Will you be hosting the winners conference as well? I can say. Probably, I can say. Is that a secret? <laughs> for now, just for now. I, I suppose yes. I suppose we will be there because we know, you know, I, we don't know. We really don't know what's going to happen. So uh, after the show, we will see. But probably we will, we will be here. <laughs> we will be. You here. can't say your favorite, can you? I can't. No, it's in my contract. I can't say anything. I mean, I really enjoy with everybody because equally. Equally, because no, but really, they are so amazing. And so, you know, the most amazing thing for a host, you know it very well, is the fact that you can listen to all these incredible languages from all over the world. So it's like uh, to, I, I feel like I'm doing like a trip, <laughs> you know? It's all around the world. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're traveling. All around the world. So, I mean, it's very cool. It's very cool. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. You deserve it so much. You're so sweet. Because you, you so have much. a Eurovision heart, and that's the Thank most important you. thing, I Thank think. You so, much. so good luck and enjoy every single second. Yeah, and you enjoy Turin. Thank you. Hey, my name is Stefan from Estonia with the song Hope, and you are watching Eurovision Backstage. We are almost at the end of the video, but I am on a special final mission. You see this GoPro right here? Well, that is for Jody because they asked us, hey, what's my view from my seat? Well, this is basically it. I really hope you enjoy the finale. I don't think the tree's blocking your view. I think it's absolutely stunning and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.